Hi, right, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. In boxing terms, what I'm saying is if you can step inside a wide hook with a straight punch, well, why can't you step inside a wide kick with a straight punch? Again, the principle is the same, MMA or boxing. Straight beats round. And sometimes, yes, just like a punch shouldn't be telegraphed, well, a kick shouldn't be telegraphed. And sometimes they are. Am I correct? Yes. So this is going to be where the straight right hand, and again, we showed the form to throw it. You shift on the right foot. You don't raise your elbow. You make sure that the power goes from here to here. Hop! And you explode it forward. And you get that real, real turn in your right foot. Shift all your weight into the punch. Why are you pivoting? Sometimes these things are taken for granted. Why are you pivoting on that? You pivot on it for two purposes. One is to shift the weight into the punch, where you get every ounce of your body, every ounce of power into that punch. But it's also for balance, so you don't lose your balance. Where, whop, you just give a pivot. If you don't pivot, you may follow the punch. And if you follow the punch, you may fall out of position. You may fall forward. So most of the MMA fighters out there already know that, but we don't take anything for granted. That is the proper way to deliver the right hand. Again, we have to watch everything. We're aware we pick up tendencies. Am I dealing with a striker? Am I dealing with a guy who is prone to throwing mostly kicks? And where is the weight distribution? You can help yourself by noticing those things. If the weight is on a back foot, well, front kick might be coming. Am I correct? Yes. If the weight is on a front foot, ah, I noticed that. I noticed with his knee. Now he's shifting. There's a preliminary shift before that back kick's coming. Notice these things. We must notice all of it. Remember that movie, Any Given Sunday, with Al Pacino? I need those inches. I mean, give me those inches. Those are the inches, the difference between winning and losing. We have to notice all these inches, all these tendencies, all of these nuances. It's the difference between winning and losing. So, again, we're going into that red, that red zone. Our defense is there. We know that this is a guy that tape has told us, the scouting report has told us, he is prone to throwing lead front kicks, where he likes to lead with the front kick. And this is going to be the one to the head, where it's going to be the lead kick to the head. The lead, there it is, all right? You like to throw that kick, don't you, a yeah. little bit? Okay, so it's going to be not a... I probably used the wrong terminology. I said lead front kick, yeah. where... It, it brought you into a straight kick. Right. I meant a lead. What would be the proper term? Uh, a round kick? A head kick? Yeah, head kick. Just a head kick. Yeah. Now, with the front foot. Yes. Now, with the back foot. Now, show me real slowly what your technique would be and what the shifts would be to get into that. There would have to be a translation of weight, a transfer of weight, I would say, to your back foot. Am I correct? Right. Yeah, to come down. with this, yeah. right? Show, show it. So I, I come here, and then I've left. I picked up immediately, I'm sure you have, hands drop as you're throwing it. Yeah, your hands drop. I don't know if it's bad technique, loose technique, um, lack of discipline for the moment, or just the leverage to get the kick. I, I get it. I understand it. Th the point is there's vulnerability. We look at the kick as the strength, but I'm looking at it for the weaknesses. Uh -huh. I'm looking at can we find the weakness in understanding that this kick is likely to come? And the answer would be yes, if we're going down this road of understanding what we have to understand with responsibility every step of the way. Of, again, responsibility in the red zone, we're not walking into knees, we're not walking into flying back kicks, we're not walking into back flying elbows, we're not walking into kicks. Or fists. Let's not forget that. Right. So we know that this guy is a little bit 
fat with his kicks. Yep. He's prone to throw the lead head kick uh -huh. with the front foot. Yep. We're doing it with an orthodox fighter again. Stop, pause. Come on. You're welcome. Just do it the reverse way. Ladies, come on. We know how good you are. You're welcome, too. So, I notice the shift. I see the shift coming. Here comes the kick. I understand it's coming. What am I going to do? I'm going to do more than block it. I'm going to do the same thing that I would do in my world. I'm going to step inside it with a straight power punch, a straight right hand, and I'm going to beat it with the straight right hand. 